Welcome to the Vinny Show, the Vinny and Lance and Craig Show, which is an even bigger disaster than any of us could have anticipated. Brian's on vacation. He's uh, in Orlando again. Obviously, as you can tell, no theme song. I'm sure that's going to disappoint a lot of you. Uh, further disappointment will ensue. There will be no granny tonight. And I imagine at this point, everyone has just stopped the podcast, unplugged, disconnected, found something better to do with their time. Thought about some full frontal nudity, but the wife said no. Excuse? Yeah. Okay. Uh, thought about eating directly here in the microphone. These uh, yummy cheese and onion crisps. I thought that might be a step too far, but you know what I am going to do? I am going to enjoy a refreshing beverage here right into the mic. Pardon me. Um, so. And I'm choking to death now. <laughs> I'm going to die on this podcast for a stupid drinking joke. It's so cold here. They're doing mobile warming tents because they're afraid people might freeze waiting for the bus. So they've got these tents set up with propane heaters in them. Okay, that's a true wow. crisis. Yeah. We've, used, we've used the word disaster on the show repeatedly, but this is not really a disaster. This is just a bad podcast. I had to do a brutta counter. Oh How my God. many times... Does Crush actually say brutta? Do you guys remember That's... a sh show on ESPN in about the same time called Body Shaping? Yeah. Allegedly an early morning fitness show, but it was essentially softcore porn. It was women in bikinis lifting weights. It looked a lot like this video package. Jim Cornette is in Tokyo, Japan, doing a press conference. There's no way Jim Cornette got on a plane to go to Tokyo. I actually listened to uh, his comments on the uh, latest Observer Hall of Fame class, and I think you're right. I think we can safely say Jim Cornette has never been to Tokyo, Japan. During a segment where somebody else was being interviewed in the ring, Crush managed to drop 11 brudas. <laughs> I'll say over or under 45. Keep in mind, it's about a 45-minute show. Interesting. I'm going over just for competition. I'll take the under. Well, I'm afraid. I don't, I don't care. Lance wins. I, wow. I, counted, I counted 50 brudas exactly. Exactly 50. <laughs> wow. Now, one of those, a little gray area, he was talking about Owen and his brother Brett. Ah. Uh, <laughs> so, I got the black G.I. Joe guy. Are we and, talking the 12-inch or the or the yeah. one? <laughs> yeah, the 12-inch. The I okay. told you, I got I had the black guy. Right, right. <laughs> Comment about Lance's awesome pink singlet he had. I had that made before I even had decided to get into wrestling. Nikita Koloff what? has certainly been worse shows. Oh, 100%. There's going to be one coming out on Christmas, believe it or not. <laughs> That's going to do it, everyone. Adios. Hey, by the way, you should say Merry Christmas. No, I'll be, I'll be back Thursday. You're, you can say Merry Christmas if you want to. Hey, Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope you had some Merry fun. Christmas, everybody. All right, now I'll say it. Adios. I'm back. And I am tired. Vinny may have dropped. What a fucking rib that's going to be. Stand by for a moment. Vinny is back. i to get going here. I had heard that he had called the uh, JAS the Jobber Appreciation Society. Even though I knew it was coming, I fucking laughed because his delivery of the word Jobber was so fucking great. And the fans, the fans laughed, and then they start chanting Jobber. This guy is something special. And I think that 2023 is going to be the year of Ricky Starks. We had a Christmas tree. It was not barbed wire. It was not a barbed wire Christmas tree. Whoever had the sign of the crowd that praising Conker's Bad Fur Day, you are a friend of mine, because that's a great game. There will be the <gasps> Rampage Holiday Bash $300,000 Three Kings Christmas Casino Trios Royale. What? The Rampage Holiday Bash $300,000 Three Kings Christmas Casino Trios Royale. Huh. That's Where are we at here, Jared? There we go. All right. You got sucked into a black hole. I have PTSD. I don't think he needs to be all over the show. I apologize. It was all worth it to see him in this rap video hanging tough. And Ross just looks behind him out of nowhere, looks at Keith Lee, and just says, into the microphone, on a hype mic, in the building, on live TV, you a big motherfucker. And he turns around and just goes on with his life. <laughs> I had no fucking idea what in the absolute fuck was going on not zero zilch then there's a second giant white man or should i call him a blue man because he's tattooed head to toe he was quite tatted his head's all tatted even up even excalibur didn't know who he was this guy came to the ring and he was worked by swerve and rick ross and he just walked right into a trap like a fucking geek and they beat the shit out of him again yes Geek. When you look like an idiot to Brian and Tom. Geek of the week. 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 Ge
geek, geek, geek. That's the new Geek of the Week theme. That works. And that's the Brian and Vinny theme, which auto played for some fucking reason, because I'm tired! Remember when Ember Moon did that interview and said that if women hit each other really hard, people would complain about it, but they wouldn't if they were men? I didn't hear one single human being on the face of this planet complain about these two hitting each other really hard. The best women's match on AEW in forever! What he doesn't possess is an awesome mask. Put a pantyhose on his head, it'd be about the same thing. Hear me? Did you have fun on Tuesday when I was gone? Bet you did. Anyway, where were we? Oh no, I lost him off the pantyhose line! God damn it! All right, I'm gonna soldier, is that the right word? On, just connect when you can. How about that? You know they're gonna talk about my favorite show for an hour? Better not be that long, cause I'm getting tired. I wish Vinny were here. <clears throat> Suffering here. I always wanted to be the youngest NXT champion. What? And then I realized that, in fact, when she was growing up, there was an NXT. Because I'm fucking old. And he's got the old metal plate that Bret Hart had. Same angle they did with Goldberg. That appears to be the end, he says. Power did not blink back on. So for Vinny V, put his picture up there, Jared. There he is. For old Vinny V, for myself, thanks for listening. We'll talk to you again after a while.